Okay, so we've successfully navigated that little area there. I've shown you that little beach, that hidden beach down there. So right ahead there you've got Gurnard Beach and the cafe we're talking about. Right here you've got the sailing club. That building there you can see is the sailing club here, which is rather nice. <coughs> so we're going to sneak back out of here now. And we're going to go just round the corner from here. There it is, if I can get round there. Ooh, that was tight. So one thing with a trike is the steering on these, at least these ice QNTs, is not particularly tight. You've kind of got to plan your turns well ahead. Right. I'll just nip up here. <coughs> cautionary change of gear because it's quite a steep bit I'm just about to go out onto here. There we go. Just for information here, see I'm still on the 52 teeth chain ring here and this is a really little steep bit that we're going up here but let's have a look what gear am I in? Looks like I'm in about fourth. And it's really not a problem at all with the motor engaged and max assist just to whiz up this hill real quickly. In fact, we're going to have to change up in a minute because that was a bit too easy and a bit too slow. Now what we're going to do right now is we're going to come up here back around this corner a little bit of welly up here Oop, might regret changing up this that is a steep bit. Legs on fire. There we go. And what we're going to do in a second, we're going to turn right. And that will take us down to the sea again, but just on the other side. Here we come. It is a beautiful day for it. Can't get any better than this at this time of year. And I think we're supposed to have some fairly warm weather this week. And maybe even for the next few weeks. Well, I'll believe that when I see it. We are in England after all. Or the Isle of Wight at least. Okay. So we're going to turn right down here and you'll start to see the sea. If any of you have watched Black Adder, Rowan Atkinson, every time I say the sea and look at it, it reminds me of when they were putting together a dictionary. The first dictionary. And they were trying to figure out the definition for the sea. In the end they left it a big blue wobbly thing. So there it is. I'm starting to see now the big blue wobbly thing over there. And that's where we're going to head. come down so we've got some nice houses again on the right side <clears throat> you really feel like you're by the seaside here and of course you are everything about this area has got that seaside feel from the little fishing cabins small tourist cabins there's a nice restaurant there called the Gloucester again right off the tourist trail you won't know about that one but that's quite a it's quite an expensive restaurant but it's a good one a lovely position and 
of this. It's been a fairly short ride today because I've got to get back. I've got some packages arriving. I've actually got these, uh, <coughs> I think I said earlier on, on the live streaming there, we've got a, the panniers that I've ordered from the back from Rock Brothers coming through and the little bag on the front. And then at two o'clock today, my son is involved in a musical at school, which I'm gonna go and watch, which will be rather nice. I kind of feel like I'm retired at the moment. Almost the last few weeks, I've been doing quite a lot of this kind of stuff and uh, just enjoying myself on the trike, getting fit. So I've had a bit more of a leisure time, a little taste of what it's gonna be like when I'm retired in about 15 years from there. But look, when the weather's like this, why not? So anyway, so that was Gurnard. We've kind of traveled through Gurnard now. This area here, probably a little less interesting to video, to be honest with you, so we won't keep on with it. It's approaching a little bit of English countryside. But anyway, that gives you a little insight of what Gurnard looks like. Well worth a visit if you come over to the Isle of Wight. Okay, see you guys later.